Alright, boom. So we reacted to the universe is way bigger than you think. And honestly, I was surprised how many of you that were messing with it. Like, I, I was genuinely surprised. I kind of just watched it because it interests me. And then you, were, you a lot of you that in the comments were telling me, Don, you need to check out the history of the entire world, I guess, video. Um, and I was like, alright, yeah, I'm... I'm down for that. We can, we can, we can try it out. Like I said, I'm, I'm very. What you Rick and Morty has made me very curious about space and just want to expand my knowledge on it. Yeah, if this is a video that's going to help me understand more stuff, then yeah. Also, I have a question. Right, if the Big Bang was what created the universe, what was the cause of the Big Bang? Because if the Big Bang was the start of everything, because nothing something can't be made out of nothing right so what was the something that caused the big bang i don't know if that's like too deep of a question but that's just something that was like uh that's just, that's been kind of like crossing my mind as of late so yeah but let me know if, if you don't have an answer to that without further ado let's get into let's get into the video hi you're on a rock floating in space pretty cool huh some of it's water fuck it actually most of it's water i can't even get from here to there without buying a boat it's sad i'm sad i Wait. miss you how did this happen a long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Wait, this is not what I was expected, I can't lie. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't what? Need a when. Every. every. it gets. What have you not told me to watch? What? Did I pause the video? Get this. Oh! Something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I what just do you... don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quirks and stuff. Ah, Quirks and stuff. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger. Gravity. Dark matter. It's not yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news, the quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something right, I know, I've heard about proton. In, but can't Electron. Hot. Great news, the protons and neutrons are now Wait, what did it, wait, did it say 10 minutes later? Still too hot, right. Great news, the protons okay. and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. Okay. But it's getting closer together. Gravity, 10 million years together. later. Gravity, 50, 500. Is that a big... Just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, Supernova. way crazier shit. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into... <laughs> so now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of made a mess. Which is oh. Oh, update, right, okay. Space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them, and now there's hot steam in the sky. Oh. Update, temperatures today, and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. Severe flood <laughs> and alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's land. There's nothing in the ocean. What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh, cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from... Oh, space wow, okay. Like ...from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh, yeah, and it can do that. Well, most of... Oh, wow. ...inside itself, telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would that say. That is very I nifty. At the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert photosynthesis. <laughs> Side effect: oxygen everywhere, and the sky's blue. Then the Earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. But that was the that was the ice age, right? That was the ice age. If that's one thing that I might have got. <laughs> it's a plant. It's a worm, and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian explosion. The what? Well, it's animals and stuff. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. Not anymore, does it make it? Now oh, is it because it moved land. back? Animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Yeah, that makes no. 10 million years oh, later. Plants up here? Maybe, said some bugs and fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can go on land. Like, to... how does that work? Like, okay, so... Obviously, the fish obviously needed was 
to live in the sea, you need uh, gills or whatever you have to live, right? So I know it said like millions of years later, but how does like the evolution system work to the point where it's like, okay, you would have got one land. We're going to slowly develop that into your body over a period of time. Like, don't you think that's crazy? How animals just like evolve so well and adapt to so different, like many climates. But as a human, the only thing we really adapt to or change is stuff around us and not actually ourselves. Like, don't you think? I mean, I guess humans have adapted in terms of being smart to create more stuff. But I mean, in terms of like the 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 the, phys the, the, the physicality of our body itself, we just haven't changed at all that much. Wait, my camera seems a bit. Do you know? Wait, it still seems low. What the? Uh, that's better. Like, do you know what I mean? Like that. That that's such a. That's such a crazy thing how animals adapt and, and do all of that. But as a human, I guess we morally adapt. We create stuff to adapt for us so we don't have to adapt ourselves. Do does, does that make sense? Anyway, back to the to space stuff. To to right. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg in the water in the egg. <laughs> Works for me. Yeah. And now everything's huge, including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh, fuck, Whoa! Dead. Just kidding. Here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another. Oh! Yeah, Don't worry about it. it. Does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. And I destroyed everything. Yeah, yeah. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. But I thought. Wait, but I thought the 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 thing that hit the dinosaurs became the moon. Is that not true? Like the big the big meteor that hit the dinosaurs became like then obviously crashed into Earth and drifted away and then became the moon. But the moon was already there before the dinosaurs ha before the dinosaurs came now they're gonna dominate the world and one of them just learned how to grab stuff and no oh. no like walk like that and grab and then that's how humans and bang rocks together to make pointed rocks ouch and set things on fire Youch. yeah yeah make crazy sounds with their voice <laughs> which can mean different things. <laughs> right they're everywhere almost Ice age. what you can walk over here cool Not anymore. well i guess we're stuck here now Oh right! So humans used to basically walk everywhere, and it got to the point where, because the land split, split you, and they couldn't just walk anywhere. Ah, oh, okay. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. now yeah. No one will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is great. <laughs> basic how it works. Doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better yep. farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers, and the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? What? The food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track yeah. of the sales. Yeah. Houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better and more people yep. come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Society. Society. <laughs> yeah. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. <laughs> Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired what do you of mean? Lame, sad metal. Introducing bronze. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't tin know. Tinland? The won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Small. Also, China. And did I mention? In this river valley civilization. The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock, knock, or clop, clop. It's the people clop, that clop. horses. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks. Ah, oh, look, it must be oh, the Greeks. Oh, okay. A version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not Oh. Gone? New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about. <laughs> And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's the bronze. Oh, Age Hinduism. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10 step program. Oh, Here's wow. Huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind. It's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian. Oh. Empire. Persian Empire. Oh, big. Ah, oh, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. <laughs> Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. 
ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's wow, great. that's crazy. And now he's dead. Hopefully oh. the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock, knock, it's Chandra Gupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. 500 <laughs> elephants? Whoa. Most of India. <laughs> what about this part? That's yeah. the Tamil kings. No one conquers the Tamil kings. Why? Who are the Tamil kings? Merchants, probably. Oh. And they've got spices. Who would like to oh. Buy spices? He said the Arabians swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again. With nice. Is their main philosophy. Really? Actually, they have three main philosophies. Go with the flow. Out Fuck here, you, there obey the. <laughs> obey the flow. They would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. I just want to say, the visuals for all of this is, is simply amazing. Like, it's really amazing. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is like, I, like, I'm a bit confused because everything's happening so fast, but the visuals are stunning. They, 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 they really are, honestly. Overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular. Jesus Christ, Christianity. For being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Yeah. From China. They just made a... To the world. To the world. You can get their own water. Sick. Uh, Accidentally so spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Oh, oh wow. A place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep. yep. Said the Persians making a new one. Oh Axel wow. So powerful they would like the to Persian Empire made another. Stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. Let's go. Oh. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah. Now yeah. Said the Ghana Empire, selling lots of gold. And so oh, like, nice. I live in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering, is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It, did it fall? The India had a golden age? Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. Not related. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Right. Or actually, just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans have figured out the stars. Oh, and here's a you... huge city. Population, everyone. The Gok Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gok Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? <laughs> How's the trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he the tells cube? them the gods are all fake. And oh, wow. And so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the world as well. Do you know what's the craziest thing to me? And I might get chewed up in the comments for this one, but I never really understood. I mean, I'm not really religious myself. Uh, like, I, I, I believe in, like, there's maybe, a, like, a higher entity, right? I don't, I don't really, I, I guess you could call it God, but I don't believe in that there's, like, a human God, which is what, like, Jesus is and what a lot of uh, thing is. Don't chew me on that one. That's just my, that's just my opinion. I don't care if you don't believe in, you don't believe whatever you want. But what I don't get is why people killed each other for religion. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't really understand why it was like, oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, but I believe in, uh, like Allah or something like that. But then they want to just kill people because you believe in a different God. That's, that's what, that's what confuses me about religion. That's what, I mean, I, I guess it doesn't really happen now or maybe it does, or maybe I'm just oblivious to it. But yeah, that was just a random thought for factors we're learning about all the religion and how it happened and stuff like that. Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder oh, if wow. there's room for Moors. Here's all the Moors? In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's Islamic the Golden coast Age. And become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. <laughs> this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there. Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe. And the, the Pope Franks? is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman Emperor. Said the Pope. Oh, wow. Still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time, are Norse. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name it accordingly. 
Greenland, Iceland. Many names such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Did the Vikings? Said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. Aren't the Vikings from like Denmark and Sweden and? Oh yeah, I guess no. No, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I don't know. But don't worry about it. Ah. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks, <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We oh, need wow. Help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade! They did oh. many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here, and Pagan is there. Her? Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing, and the Mongols just invaded oh. most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some oh, it broke. <laughs> were affected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga. Tonga time? I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire there, right in the middle of it. The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. Spain and Portugal. Check later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back, yay. Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Oh, it'll be time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a right. Project. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Okay. Missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess Spiceless, you know. Oh, that seems like a very long route. Probably smoking crack. If the world is uh, round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry. We already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please. No, please. No, please. Okay. So uh, he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean. Right. He discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's oh. The, world. the Aztec and Inca Empire. So he basically just went, okay. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families, they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you Wait, sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why. Said the <laughs> 95 <laughs> reasons why. The Protestant Reformation. You know oh, what would be wow. Said Suleiman wearing an onion hat. What if the Ottoman Empire was really big, which it is now? What if Russia oh, was big? Oh, my. Ivan, trying not Russia to is huge, though. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And so really? That this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Wow. We got to start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. All the hipsters, you know. Stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Wow. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next you thing, might the forget to not do slavery. Is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess Britain won. Yeah, I remember. I know that. Start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck yeah. Says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Well, Australia, yeah. The king and queen still wear such fancy dresses. Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. Because wow. Haiti is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't hey. Before? Wait, who's in charge of... Why France? didn't we think of this before? <laughs> Napoleon trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines. And oh, what England made? England discovered that. Wow, that's impressive. Trains and conquer India and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China said Britain, buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked actually. But then China wow. and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain wow. and made them open up five cities and give them an island. 
Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. I is where he lives. In okay. Just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. <laughs> Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. It's and bad. They continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. Wow. You know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling. Whoa! The they never got Britain and France hey, hold tight, Ethiopia. Hey, hold tight, Thailand. Destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So wow. Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal connecting the two oceans. Britain just wow. oil in the Middle East. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is actually Republic of China, controlled by a guy from the previous government. Oh Europe has wow! Been since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns! It's going to be a great war, so great we won't need a second one. That there was though. Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now yeah, I remember, I remember learning about that. In the Soviet Union, yeah, I remember learning about that. And Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone, so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Oh. won't mind. Let's cut the cake. What the? <laughs> carving up the remains of the not so Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany yeah. featuring Hitler, the angry muscle. Oh, right. Existing. Japan is finally conquering the East and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard. They should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of Wasn't control. me, you know. The national community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea. But he kills himself before they could explain it. Yeah, they did, did, didn't he? Bonus yeah. Point. Pacific showdown. United States versus Japan. Oh, and then he dropped a bomb in it. The hush, was it the Hashirama bomb? Let's unite all the nations and have some world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Bonus, now that, there's Pakistan. Actually, is, is, is that how... Huh? Is that how it worked? Is that how England got out of India? Pakistan's. One of them can be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Psych, they both get angrier. Look out, China. There's a new yeah. China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War. Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins. Oh, That's no Korea versus South Korea. Korea. Yeah. Sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. A, like, wait, no, that would be the end of the world. That would really cool. be the end of the world. Spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. Yeah. Race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. <laughs> the United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They it decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute. Still, to still racist people out there, though. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Technology Way more. Too. That might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the That's map. crazy, though. Britain are so extra. Like, Britain are, like, even with cars in Britain, like, I think everybody has the vehicle to the left, and Britain, like, the only one to have it to the right was opposite way round. Like, Britain are just so extra for no reason it's just like wow it's on the computer whoops someone just attacked america i bet they'll remember that phone call surprise it's in your pocket want to learn everything surprise it's on the computer yeah your phone's a computer yeah it's in your pocket yeah oops the economy just crashed oh Don't worry, the big banks won't fail because they're not supposed to surprise they failed robots oh with bombs one of oh brain. some people have no friends some people have no food the globe is warming and the ocean is full of plastic yeah the planet said everybody not knowing how Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented. By what? That's pretty cool. By what? The, way, the hell are we? That was, that was very interesting. I'm not going to lie. That was very, very interesting. I, 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 I'm. I was lost sometimes, but especially when we talk about like, like ancient times, I, uh, like just a whole bunch of ancient times. I was just like, what is going on? But it was interesting to learn about all that stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I do, in, I do enjoy just learning about stuff that I have no idea about. And like, I feel like it's, it's very um, 
it does pique my curiosity. I, I, I thought it's like a space video, but I guess it's not. It's more, it's more of like how Earth is. And as much as this was a great video, I don't really care about Earth. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't. Earth is like, I feel like Earth is just Earth. You know what I'm saying? Like all, this, all the bad stuff, all the good stuff that happens is, is on Earth. I kind of, maybe the next video that we'll do will definitely be more about the universe because I want to know more about the universe in general and just more about um, how stuff works in the universe, you know? Like just, just how stuff is, uh, is just, how, just, how stuff just happens, you know? But anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, if you guys do want another one, if you could leave a like, that'd be great. Um, and I'll catch you done in a bit. Peace.